Thank you for joining us. I'm Melanie Johnson. Right now, local police are out in force looking for drunk drivers. The crackdown is a part of an effort with mothers against drunk driving. News 4's Deanna Broxton reports police are hopeful impaired drivers will get the message. You can see just how popular Saturation Saturday is becoming here in the St. Louis area. But unfortunately, cops say it still appears that people are choosing to drink and drive. So I was making a left turn at the intersection of Natural Bridge and Newstead when a drunk driver ran his red light and crashed into my car. Christopher Pate says that was over a decade ago in St. Louis. I'm still recovering. The drunk driver changed everything about me, including my name. I was always Chris or Christopher. Since then, I'm Chris when it walks with a limp or Chris was the one that was almost killed by the drunk driver. Pate is now the man who shares his story with students as a member of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Saturday, he shared his story on Saturation Saturday. Uh, I've actually participated in all four years of Saturation Saturday thus far. The day is when law enforcement cracked down on drunk drivers ahead of the Labor Day holiday. So if a person who usually commits this crime knows that there's hundreds of officers throughout the state looking for that exact thing, it might change their mind and they'll get a sober driver for the night. Unfortunately, Sean Lonis with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says some drivers just aren't listening. Since COVID has ramped down and everything is opened back up, our numbers are through the roof. But people here say they'll keep doing this every year so there are no more victims like Pete. Because, you know, it didn't just happen to me. Now I'm doing something about it. Dion Broxton, News 4.